the topic is uh, evolutions of uh, what we know very well that is a narrow band PLC for uh, IoT smart IoT networks. So I thought to start from this. So uh, a question that uh, some of us might uh, ask ourselves since we, many of us work in this business uh, for a long time, if this uh, technology is getting old somehow, kind of, uh, okay, useful tool that we have uh, that might be replaced by something else. My personal answer, that is, uh, I think the general feeling is no. Not at all. We still need to, uh, to keep playing, uh, keep finding new use cases, and uh, keep uh, uh, tapping into the potential of the technology. And this is especially true, obviously, with the new evolution of the hybrid PLC plus RF. First uh, direction, I would say, to have something more IoT based on narrowband PLC. The co coexistence of multiple PLC channels. Uh, this is already a, a well-known uh, uh, concept uh, in the so-called uh, Senelec bands because we have uh, uh, historically a split between AMR bands, uh, Senelec A band, uh, let's say industrial for the B band, home automation for the C band. To be further expanded in the so-called FCC band up to 500 kilos, this is already targeted by uh, also Senelec, um, many of, uh, of the people uh, and the companies uh, which are part of the Digital Alliance are working in this direction to evolve uh, the, the, the PLC standard to also regulate this uh, new band and uh, um, especially target coexistence between different applications. But this is something that the, the, the technology already allows to do today, to have uh, different technologies, more technologies, more services, more use cases. What is needed uh, is to maybe define those use, use cases in a more structured way. Um, because we know very well, and that's the reason why there is the G3PLC Alliance, uh, that standardizing things uh, is uh, the, the, the way to uh, spin the wheel and have uh, new things coming. Beyond uh, PLC only, we have the, the well-known uh, uh, hybrid. Uh, this slide uh, is to show that this is something real, uh, including uh, uh, certification of this kind of platform that we see really appealing for customers, for our customers, because uh, this is really IoT oriented because of the open st standard solution, because it's easy to, to use, because the user doesn't have to, to Mm, uh, bother, let's say, uh, to be bothered by the de decision if using PLC or RF link uh, because it's uh, IPv6 based. So it's a, 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 a solution fitting very well and that can, can scale up and down, let's say, very well to any kind of IoT uh, applications. Which applications? One idea, multi-utility. I'm sure I'm not saying anything new for any one of you. Beyond the reason of uh, improving the KPI from the 98, 99 percent we were talking about to 100 percent, a possible next evolution could be using the, the, the energy meter as uh, the gateway for all other kind of uh, metering solutions. So expanding the scope of the original uh, idea uh, behind the G3PLC protocol. This uh, would obviously require uh, uh, specific evolution of the protocol requirements to be compatible with battery operation. And we've already seen from uh, Cedric's presentation that this evolution is on the way. So to have also uh, a G3 PLC solution for battery powered devices that can really open up a lot of use cases uh, for metering and not only, I would say. Uh, Non-metering uh, applications, uh, in my opinion, in, in my view, can be uh, grouped into two major uh, boxes, let's say. One is smart infrastructures, that includes, uh, uh, and here I'm listing real use cases, uh, smart street lighting, railway, uh, power dis distribution control for uh, data center, for uh, base stations, uh, building automation applications, and then the other box is smart energy, uh, where uh, we see two major trends. One is smart photovoltaic for uh, safety control of the PV installation. 
so emergency shutdown, but also for uh, optimization of the operation of the uh, PV uh, installation. The other uh, trend is uh, smart home, not much from the fancy, I would say, home automation things, more on the energy ecosystem, more uh, to have uh, awareness and control of the energy consumption. And we will see uh, um, something more uh, uh, in the next slides. So uh, talking about uh, smart uh, infrastructure, one typical example where hybrid uh, would be really uh, fitting, uh, nicely fitting, uh, would be moving from what we already experienced for uh, smart street, street lighting, that is basic control, to integration also of sensors. To, so to make PLC kind of backbone of a uh, control uh, network, uh, mixing up also RF only sensors. Again, the, the appeal of uh, uh, battery powered devices using the G3 PLC stack. For the smart home uh, part, uh, the big trend uh, that I really see is uh, having uh, this customer uh, awareness oriented solutions where you have an equipment that is a kind of gateway in the house that uh, applying, for example, uh, the, um, something that is uh, practically being deployed in Italy today, a dedicated PLC link between the meter and the house, but anyway, a link between uh, smart meter uh, data and the uh, customer. This link, this direct, direct uh, real-time uh, link can be used by the so-called customer energy manager, that is something already appearing in standards uh, um, internationally, uh, that can control loads, go beyond uh, awareness by customers, and uh, uh, give full control of uh, a household power consumption, including some uh, demand response uh, and uh, advanced flexibility applications. You see, for example, uh, uh, Charging station, it is one of the most interesting uh, things in this, uh, in this area where uh, uh, we see a lot of interest uh, in terms of remote controlling of the power budget dedicated to the, the charging of the electric vehicle. Last slide, summary. Uh, I think uh, it was uh, fast enough. Uh, you, you will tell me by questions if it, I was too fast. My point is PLC alone is already still uh, perfectly suitable for a lot of applications, uh, not just because uh, it's, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, intrinsically matching power distribution and, and the energy domain, but also because uh, it still has a lot of, of flexibility to adapt to several use cases. The expansion to hybrid is opening even more use cases. Where we need to invest is in uh, standardizing possibly the use cases to make them uh, uh, understandable and, um, let's say, available to, uh, to a wider market. So those use cases are possibly more likely to be successful and to be deployed uh, uh, in, in any kind of applications. Mm -hmm.